hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well and first of all let me congratulate all of you who have passed the semester first semester uh, over the year with the flying colors okay so congratulations to all of you so in this video we will discuss about how to calculate sgpa semester grade point average it is most important to calculate uh, when you go to the higher semesters you should collect all the sgpa uh, grades over there which you have to submit later on okay so it is better to calculate from the earlier itself so that you will not uh, find difficulties in uh, next higher semesters over there okay so it is the semester grade point average and cgpa is cumulative grade, uh, grade point average it is at the end of your uh, whole journey of engineering you need to calculate the cgpa but as of now you have to calculate only sgpa okay <clears throat> so let me start i have taken here the example of p cycle okay it doesn't matter over here whatever the cycle you have either p cycle or c cycle okay so there are credits mentioned in your syllabus copy so i have taken here the credits for the p cycle see here this is the mathematics first it has four credits okay and physics has also four credits introduction to c programming has three credits and elements of mechanical engineering has three credits also and communicative english one indian constitution one credit idt innovation design and thinking one credit okay and renewable energy sources is uh, three credit over here so total credits are 20 in the first semester right so i have taken here uh, the marks uh, for the for each and every subject randomly i have taken here the marks okay whatever the marks you have uh, acquired in the examinations okay so this is for mathematics uh, he has got suppose anybody has got 65 marks for physics 74 70 like that one okay now the main thing is grade points actually there is the formula for calculation of sgpa see here sgpa is equal to summation of course credits into grade points first of all we have to calculate grade points then multiply those grade points with the credits okay then we have to do the summation of those so that we can get sgpa value okay so let me calculate over here so uh, grade points suppose if anybody has got 65 marks see here grade points how to calculate grade points first if uh, anybody has uh, having greater or equal to 90 uh, less than 90 greater or equal to 80 marks these are these are the marks range okay see here it is the score range or marks range suppose here he has got 65 so it is in the range of greater or equal to 60 less or less than 70 means from 60 to 70 it is the grade point is 7 so i will take here 7 as grade point okay so this is your grade point now he has got 74 marks right so i have to check the range see here greater or equal to 70 or less than 80 uh, its grade point is 8 so i can write here 8 also uh, greater or equal to 70 means here is 70 so i can write it as 8 credits next is 80 see the range less than uh, sorry greater or equal to 80 it is the 9 credits so i can write 9 likewise you can go through okay 65 it comes under the range of 7 and 70 comes under the range of 8 and 90 is greater or equal to 90 means 10 grade points right then next one is 85 means greater or equal to uh, greater or equal to 80 less than 90 it is grade uh, point is 9 I hope you are getting it now you have to multiply this one 7 into 4 plus 8 into 4 plus 8 into 3 summation you have to do see here summation of course credits into grade points now let me do this uh, calculation so 7 into 4 is 28 so i can write here as 7 into 4 first plus then 8 into 4 8 into 4 plus 8 into 3 okay 8 into 3 9 into 3 plus 9 into 3 then 7 into 1 7 into 1 plus 8 into 1 plus 10 into 1 okay then 9 into 3 plus 9 into 3 divided by uh, the uh, course credits of all the subjects so total number of credits is 20 over here okay so now i can calculate this uh, in the calc over here so let me calculate it so see here i will calculate it this is your 7 into 4 plus 8 into 4 plus 8 into 3 plus 9 into 3 plus 7 into 1 plus 8 into 1 sorry this is 8 into 1 plus 10 into 1 plus 9 into 3 divided by total number of credits is 20 which is equal to 163 divided by 20 which is equal to 8.15 so if anybody has this type of marks over there so he has got 8.1 sgpa okay semester grade point average 
so likewise you have to calculate for each and every subject if you have c cycle you can take the credits as mentioned in the syllabus as you already know there are 20 credits in each semester that is first and sorry first and second uh, second semester there are 20 20 credit points okay so you have to calculate accordingly i hope uh, you have understood this uh, all the concept how to calculate the sgpa if you have some doubts you can ask in the comment section okay i am ready to answer them over there thank you so much for watching my video